what's good friendlies and non-friendlies so we're having a bit of a dilemma here while I'm doing a playthrough of way of the samurai I have come to a decision as of now that I am going to cease the playthrough of that game and it's because of a couple of things I feel like I've already gotten everything that I've wanted out of that game you know like I don't feel like it's going to surprise me all that much from here on out you know I like the how difficult it is and you know all that I like how it's like a bit of an open world situation okay I don't like the fact that the difficulty is kind of sword sponges <laughs> you know so you're always doing like 1 15th of the damage that you should be doing and I'm sure there's ways to d get around that you know for experts you play the game a lot and I I'm just not really feeling the connection between me and that game you know like playing the game the right way versus playing the game the way I want versus I'm not I'm having a hard time letting go of doing what I want to do versus what the game wants me to do and it doesn't really feel all that gratifying to me I do enjoy the game I like playing it and it's fun I guess I guess the, the biggest thing also one of the biggest thing is that it feels kind of feels kind of like the sims with swords in a way if you get what I'm what I'm saying I don't, I don't know what it is. This is a real, real weird situation here. And I just don't think that I gel with Way of the Samurai 1 at least all that much. I enjoy playing it and it, you know, it's fun, but I don't think I enjoy making content for it. You can make that difference if you so want to, or you can, you know, be like, hey, you know, move on to the next game which is what I'm planning to do. But if not, and you guys enjoy, you like it for whatever reason, then uh, let it be known within these next three to four days, because that's how long it's going to be before I decide my next avenues to start taking. And if a lot of people want it, or if some people want it to continue, maybe I'll, I'll make a couple more stops by it. But Till then, we gotta start thinking about the next game that we're going to play. Now, before we started this playthrough, Where the Samurai did top the list. It did top the list, Where the Samurai 1 and 2. Now, this list is ever-changing, young fella, young sister. It's ever-changing, ever-evolving. So, let me update you at the top of my list for what I want to play right now. It's kind of the PS1 game I was talking about, Soul of the Samurai. And this is nothing alike Way of the Samurai. Soul of the Samurai is on PS1, and it's a Resident Evil-esque game with swords to compete with Onimusha. But it came out bef before Onimusha because Onimusha got delayed to the PS2. That's all I know about it from reviews. <laughs> and I'm thinking that could be a good introduction for me as I'm potentially going to be playing Resident Evil in Halloween season for the first time, more or less. So I'm thinking like this could be a good introduction for me to just get dabbled with it a little bit. You know, since I'm still in a, a sword mood. You know, didn't completely get my feel with Way of the Samurai. Maybe this is something that I need. Something a bit more action-paced, a bit more, you know, a bit more colorful. <laughs> Let's say, a bit more colorful. So, maybe a bit more colorful, a bit more gaming-like. Maybe this is something that we are going to have to do. But I also, the title is so similar that I... I kind of want to give it a bit of a rest before I go jump in because people are going to be thinking like, oh, you're just continuing the same thing. Nah, this is a different game. Just, just one word changed. Mortal Kombat Silent Monks. Yeah, I'd say Mortal Kombat Silent Monks, you know, why not? Why not? I've been putting it off for like years. I've been putting it off. You know, I've played it, you know, before. It's not going to be the first time I've ever played it. 
but it's gonna be the first time in a long, long time that I've played it. You know, but hey, Mortal Kombat Silent Monks. That's another one that's at the top of the list. Beneath that, games that I'm less likely to play, but I also have interest in B-tier games. These B-tier games gotta be short. They gotta be short, quick, not too long lasting. You know, it can't be like a full, full on RPG or anything like that. The only thing that's coming to my mind is Kudelka. But that's a Halloween game that I'm potentially going to play. We could do a, a Soul Edge week, non-stop Soul Edge. We could just stream Soul Edge or just play it and, you know, make combo video. We could do something like that. But I got to be honest, I, I'm rarely in a fighting game mood these days for some reason. I don't know, I, I, I like watching tournaments fighting tournaments tends to ignite my want to play fighting games but since the pandemic hit I've been kind of running dry on that will it's been kind of running dry NBA ballers NBA ballers the original we could do rags to riches yeah that would be cool that would be pretty darn cool man hell yeah I think that's a solid B tier we could do true crime streets of la but the problem with that is the copyright that's the only thing stopping me from playing or from putting this on the list true crime streets of la Ooh, yeah the copyright music and i'm not trying to play that game in, in silence Yu Gi Oh duelist of the roses i don't think i'm in a mood for that no no even though I love that game, I'm not in the mood for it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna think of one more game. Give it, give it one more game. Shadow of the Colossus, no Bloodstained. Are we gonna do Blood? I'm kind of interested in Bloodstained. I'm kind of interested in Bloodstained. I'm also interested in Shenmue, but Shenmue's a long ass game. You know, so that's the only thing that's not gonna get it on this list. Okay, so Bloodstained is actually going to go into A tier. A tier, the games that I'm most likely to try within the next four days. Soul of the Samurai, AKA Ronin Blade. It's a Resident Evil style samurai game. We'll see how much it is like. And it has a lot of cool gamey, like gamey stuff. And it has tank controls and all that. You know, I, I don't know, I've never played it. The next game, Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks. Shaolin Monks. Nothing else needs to be said. The next one, Bloodstained. Probably a randomizer. <laughs> Definitely a randomizer. Uh, yeah, those are the A tiers. The games that I'm most likely to play in the coming days. B tier, Kudelka. Probably not, because I'm saving that for Halloween. NBA b -b 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 Ballers. There's always a chance for that. That's a nice game. That is a dope game all the time. I'm tempted to put that in A tier, but no, it's a solid B tier because it's always available. Uh, Soul Edge, might as well throw that in there too. And random Mega Man game. <laughs> So th those are the options, those are what I'm feeling. And that's what, you know, that's what the schedule is looking like, you know. And as far as Way of the Samurai, I don't know, man. I, I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I just feel like it's, there's not much else for me to, to get out of it. And I feel like somebody who likes the lifestyle and, and the culture of, of a game that yeah, like that where you have to be have a certain amount of patience to really get everything that you want out of it including the combat not just the traveling not just the pacing not just the unskippable cutscenes but just it, doing the things the right way that the game wants you to do you, if you if you've accepted all that and all that it means then that's 
a delicious meal for you. That's a delicious meal any day of the week. You know, you just have to be in the right mood. Like, I'm not always in the right mood to watch golfing. You know, but if I am, you know, if I would wake me up on a Sunday morning, you know, and and the the morning breeze is, is sifting in the right spots, hitting the right corners of my toes. <clears throat> you know, if my toes are raggling, then hey, I'm in the mood to watch golf all day. You know, so it just depends on your mood. Giving a score in that right now, it will be unjust because I haven't beaten it, but. From what I've gotten from it, if I were just to slap a random, unsanctioned, unofficial ITL score on Way of the Samurai. It's gameplay 77, um, presentation 89, uh, replayability 90. The fourth rating would be. I don't know. I don't have a fourth rating, so it this is unofficial. Unofficial, you get no fourth rating. And you know, blah blah blah. blah I'd say the game is like a like a eighty, uh, like a eighty four total. Eighty four total. About uh, I didn't add it up. Didn't bother. This review doesn't count. But it's a good game. Just the patience and all that. Uh, it's time for me to move <laughs> to move on. Got to keep it pushing. So I'll see you guys in a couple of days. Probably in the meantime, I'll probably be doing something nonchalant, non-committal. And we'll be back with one of Ronin Blade, Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks, Bloodstained, Kudelka, NBA Ballers, or something else that is less likely than everything I just mentioned so I'll bid you guys further ado may peace be with always keep your heads up do some those both side of you stay cool and if you like this content be sure to sow some love but always be sure to sow that love to the people who matter to you men be cool and by the way I haven't mentioned forgotten Legend of Dragoon uh, yeah uh, Legend of Dragoon is a mainstay on this channel pretty much for eternity and I do a playthrough of that game every year more or less around Christmas time I'm in a mood to play it I am in the mood the, the time is ripe but give it a give it a few months and I'll, the runt is really going to be there the only question is what type of playthrough should we do what type of playthrough should we do when the time comes anyways be cool. Deuces.